Okay guys, um, a few people have been asking me to do a tutorial of um, rock and roll, mainly the fill at the end, um, but I'm going to do the intro for you as well, because quite a lot of drummers seem to um, be able to play the tune okay, but they mess up the intro, um, so I'll do the intro for you first. Um, the, the main thing you need to be aware of for the, the timing of the intro is um, the first note that you hear on the recording is actually the and of three, okay? It's not the first beat of the bar. The second accented note is actually the first beat of the bar. So it's something like this. The second accented note is the, the first beat of the bar. So it's one, two, three, two. So play the bass drum, I'll just play quarter notes on the bass drum so you can hear where the time is, okay? Okay, a good way to count it is like this. on the snare, eighth notes all the way through. Okay? And it's important that you make sure the ghost notes are a lot quieter than the accented notes. Um, so the best way to do that, I think, is to raise your hand a little bit when you're playing the ghost notes. So it's just a tap. And then when you play an accent, you do like a Muller stroke, so you kind of whip the stick down to play a rim shot. Now the right hand's playing exactly the same thing on the hi-hat. Just put them both together. Bass drum pattern, I think the most effective way of playing it is just the pattern like that, so you get something like this. the main beat. Now of course we're going to have to come to the uh, the ending fill. Now I have to say that I don't know exactly what John Bonham was playing on the original recording for this. It's really difficult to work out exactly what he plays so um, there isn't really a right and a wrong way of doing it. As if it sounds okay to you then um, I think it's good. It's fine. Um, but the way I do it um, I think I like to think of it as three main parts. The first part is this. That's the first bit. The second bit is this. Okay. And the last bit is this. Okay, so putting it all together. section down for you, I'll do it a little bit slower, show you what I'm doing. So the first bit, okay, 
two notes on the snare, and then four. Sounds better if you play a rim shot for the accents. Okay, that's the first part. Middle bit's the hardest bit, and it's also the hardest bit to tell what he's actually playing. And um, but this is how I do it. It's um, the first two. It's a kind of five-stroke roll, so you're doing. Two of those, then four of these. Okay, so it's just snare, rack tone, floor tone, bass drum. Four of those. So put the middle, whole middle section together, something like this. Okay, you know, the last part of that. That's why I'm not really sure if that's what he's playing or not. Because it sounds okay if you do this as well. You do two of the hands and two of the feet. You could even do this, play it as a sort of broken triplet where the first one is a flan. It works either way. like that with the sort of broken triplets. The first triplet is a flan. Okay. Or the other way I was doing it before. Anyway the last bit is just triplets around the kit. Um, I've seen another guy doing a, a demonstration of it where he was leading with his, his left hand. one bone man or whatever his name is. Um, I think his version is excellent. I, I find it really hard to play the, the end that way. I normally leave my right hand when I'm playing triplets around the kit. So uh, I do it this way. It's like bass drum and snare, snare, bass drum and floor thump, rap thump, bass drum and a flan Pretty much it. Put them all together.